Hi everyone, I hope you're good. Today we're adding a little bit of power to our vinyasa flow. So whenever you're ready, get yourself nice and warmed up and get yourselves on the mat. To start off, I'm gonna come into cat and cow just to warm up my back. So just find a bit of freedom here in the spine. And I hope you're closing the eyes, you're not looking at me. That you're focusing on how it feels instead. Taking some nice deep breaths and really trying to exaggerate the shoulders, the spine, the hips here, all the way through this movement. And then next step from here, we're coming into a nice neutral spine, tuck the toes underneath, lift the hips up into downward facing dog and just take a nice walk there on the spot. So really try and warm up the legs, particularly the ankles and the hamstrings. Next, we're gonna move into plank pose. So shoulders above wrist, hips stacked above the knees. Push away your yoga mat and really get a good grip. Just get a grip, <laughs> get a good grip here of your yoga mat. And we're gonna push from the toes unless you're on the knees already. And we're gonna move down into Chaturanga and lift up into Cobra or maybe you're an upward facing dog today. Roll the shoulders back, really hug the shoulder blades into the upper back. Keep pushing away the floor and really firm the legs and the buttocks. Move it next into downward facing dog again. Lift the hips up. And again, plank pose. Straight into Chaturanga Dandasana down, a variation of your choice. Lift up into Cobra, downward facing dog. Ooh, okay, feeling a little bit warmer. Walk the feet back, plank pose. Chaturanga Dandasana down, Cobra rising, down with facing dog. Oh. Okay, next up, plank. This time side plank, flip it over, right palm down, left hand up. Feet one in front of the other or feet stacking, lift the hips up, reach the left arm overhead. Breathing, come down, over onto the other side, flip it over. Lengthen your tailbone towards the heels, body in one straight line, reach up. Right hand lifting, lift up through the hips, strong legs. Come down, plank, Chaturanga Dandasana down, coming up. Cobra, downward facing dog. Okay, so next up, downward dog split. Really try and reach up through those tippy toes, come up onto the ball of the standing leg and then step that right foot forwards into low lunge. So now switch it up into high crescent lunge for me and bend into the front knee. And again, things change. We're gonna angle the chest and heart, the body over the front thigh. You can position hands to hips if you want. And then finally reach, if it feels comfortable, of course, reach the hands forwards now. So I've got the body angled over the thigh, arms reaching forwards, push into the back heel. Nice job. From here, bring the fingertips down and aim to straighten out this front leg as best as you can. Think about that right hip moving back, left hip moving forwards and forward fold down. So it's a little play on Paschottanasana. Good. Take another breath here. And move forwards, bend into the front knee. Press the hands deep into the mat, shoulder width apart. Now you wanna make sure you're on the ball of the back foot. You push away your mat, free up the front leg towards the back and you're in a three-tiered plank. All right, might, might take you a couple of goes. Push from the left foot, Chaturanga Dandasana down. Connect the right foot down, Cobra rising. Downward facing dog. Okay, so onto the other side. We've got left leg reaching up towards the sky, downward dog split. Keep pushing away the floor. Come up onto the tippy toes of the back foot and step the left foot forwards into low lunge, feet hip distance apart. High crescent, lifting up. And then angle chest and heart forwards over the front thigh and reach. Imaginary beach ball in between the palms of the hands. Push into the back heel, navel to spine, shoulders away from the ears slightly. Fingertips come down, Paschottanasana, or a variation of it. Think about the left hip moving back. Right hip subtly for moving forward to fall that forward fold down. Let's go. Bend those elbows. Don't hold back from your fold. Nice deep breaths. Take another one. And 
down from here. Rebend into the front knee. Hands shoulder width apart. All right. Free it up. Free that left leg towards the back into a three tiered plank. So not too high with that back leg. Push in the toes. Chaturanga Nandasana down. Connect the back foot. Cobra rising. Downward facing dog. Lift up really high onto the balls of the feet, gazing between the palms of the hands, and either step or jump the feet forwards into forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale into forward fold. Bend through the knees, lower the arms, roll up the spine, coming up to standing. Roll the shoulders back, reach the hands up, and hands come down to prayer. <sighs> feeling warm, feeling warm. Okay, do you want the feet hip distance? Lengthen the tailbone down towards the heels, bring the hands to come to prayer. Inhale, reach the hands up. Exhaling to forward fold down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhaling to forward fold. Bend through the knees, step back with both feet or jump the feet back even into plank. Chaturanga Dandasana down. Cobra rising, lifting up. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifting up towards the sky. Step that foot forwards into low lunge. Lifting up into high crescent. So bend into that front knee. Bring the fingertips down. Walk the hands forwards and kick that left leg up. Okay, so that again, if you're a bit unsure, walk the hands forwards, left leg lifts up. We're gonna bring heel towards backside now. All right, obviously the top leg. Press the left hand into the floor and play around. We're seeing if we can grab right hand to the top foot. And then if you need to, you can bend the standing leg but then I kind of do that as a transition and then I will re-straighten out the leg. Good. Take the leg back. So you're now in lunge. Pivot the back heel down. Warrior two. From here, reach forward with the right hand. Take the right hand down and you're in side angle pose. Left hand up towards the sky or overhead. Nice job. From here, move down. Hands either side of the front foot. Take that leg back into downward dog split. Lower the foot down, other side. Left leg reaching up towards the sky, downward dog split. Step the foot forwards into your lunge. Then from here, reach up. High crescent. Sink down into it if you can. And fingertips come down. Walk forwards with the hands. Kick up. Okay, remember that. Take it down. Walk the hands forwards. Kick up. I'm going to move around a little bit, so there we go. Feels a bit better. And then bring heel towards backside. Bend through the standing leg. Left hand grabs onto that foot. So opposite hand to opposite foot. Re-straighten out the leg. Slowly comes into it. Lots of breathing. Keep pushing away from your mouth. Lift that chest and heart. Don't look behind you. And from here, release the foot. Lower it down, pivot the back heel down. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, into a very wobbly warrior today. Warrior two to be precise. So I'm on the back, uh, pivoting, so I'm on the back foot, I'm, I'm on the sole of the foot, right? Now reach, left hand forwards, take it down, reaching that right hand up towards the sky. Reach it up and over into your side angle pose. Nice. Remember to not push your bum back, Lengthen your tailbone towards the heel like you're trying to thrust your hips forward slightly. Hands either side of that front foot. Pivot to you on the ball of the back foot and up into your downward dog split. Lower the foot down so you're in plank pose. Push from the toes, Chaturanga Dandasana down. Lifting up into Cobra. Then into downward facing dog. Lift that right leg up towards the sky. This right knee is going to come in towards the chest and heart. So lift the knee towards the thigh, bend the knee, push away your mat, straighten out your arms still, shoulders are above the wrists. Then take the leg back into downward dog split. That again, bring the knee and thigh close in towards the body, round your back, head down, and take it back onto the other side. So we've got left leg reaching up towards the sky for downward dog split. Bend the knee, bring the knee and thigh close in towards the body, shift the weight forwards. You control that by the back foot and then reach up. Again, knee bends, thigh really close in towards the body, hug the thigh in close and then back. Nice job. From here, take the feet down, pull the foot down, 
look in between the hands, bend the knees, then step or hop the feet forwards. So you're in a nice seated position here on your yoga mat. Oh, ho, 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 ho. how are you feeling? So you can always rewind and do the same flow again if you want more from it. Straighten out the legs though if you want to, if you're just doing the one, um, one round from here. We're going to bring left um, foot in, so we've got right leg straight out. Bring that left foot over the right leg, sit yourself up nice and tall and just wrap around into a nice twist. So we've got the right arm around the left leg. Okay, you can push away from it if you want. Backhand, left hand is really close to the spine to help me get into the twist just a little bit more. And then keep the legs, just change the arms. So use the arms to kind of push away from the legs to get you into the twist a little bit deeper. And then face forward, we're gonna change sides. So what happens is with yoga, sometimes I'm changing legs for the way. I'm using the left arm to hug or push away um, from this right thigh, backhand really close to the base of the spine, is you can end up getting quite um, addicted to either flowing or just more challenging postures or the, ex the postures that excite you. I'm going the other way, by the way. And you forget the basics. You forget about working on your foundations and you forget about postures like this that are nourishing to your body. So it's a bit like, you know, getting excited um, just on like getting your highs from like candy or getting your highs from like having a takeaway or something. You can't, you can't, that's not sustainable. So you need to make sure that you're, you're nourishing your body with your greens, with your fruits and your veggies. And that's what you want to see your seated postures at, as, your um, foundation postures as, the postures that are relaxing, that are nourishing to you as well. Because you can have too much of a good thing. So too much plank pose can really aggravate the wrist. Same with downward facing dog. Too much of a good thing can aggravate, could be hamstring tissue. So you wanna make sure you're giving your, your yoga practice, there's a variety that's there. Now my change position, I'm seated. I'm coming into Baddha Konasana. I've said this before, you can have the heels really close in. For me, I prefer that diamond shape gap. The heels are slightly further away. I'm gonna sit myself up nice and tall and then forward fold back down. So you can reach the hands forward. You can also use um, a sofa to kind of um, hold your hands or rest even the forehead onto. And then from here, sit yourself all the way up. Give the legs a bit of a wriggle and shake. If you like this flow, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a nice like and a thumbs up or leave me a comment. If you've got any questions or feedback, that would be fantastic. If you really like this one and you want more, you can always head over to my website and there's lots more classes there for you to choose from so you continue to practice yoga at home. You can also head over to my Instagram if you ever want to connect with me on there. I'll see you next time on the yoga mat. Keep practicing. Bye.